the perpendicular bisector of a chord must pass through the center of the circle. Perpendicular bisector of a chord. Let's show this using GeoGebra. Let's have a circle. The perpendicular bisector of a chord. Let's have a chord. And gusto nating pakita na yung perpendicular bisector nito, we have a tool for perpendicular bisector, should pass through the center. Let's see if it will pass through the center. I already activated perpendicular bisector, so I have to click the endpoints of the bisector, and it should pass through the center of the circle, as you can see. Okay? So, pag ginalaw ko yan, it will still pass through the center of the circle. Kahit ibahin ko yung size ng circle, it will still pass through the center of the circle. That's theorem number three. For this example, let's look for the diameter. Well, sa libro, find the radius lang to, pero times to lang naman yun eh. We'll be applying theorem number three. Remember theorem number three, sabi doon, kapag meron kang chord, tapos si binaisek daw siya ng isang line segment, and then that line segment should pass through the center. So we can, let's say this is the center, let's say this is center um, O, and then let's draw the radius OA. Now, this radius, let this be R. Obviously, this whole thing is also R. It's a radius also. And this segment over here, OE, is R minus 6. Am I correct? Is it R minus 6? Yeah, it's R minus 6. Let me re remove this first. Again, the whole thing is R. So therefore, this part over here is R minus 6. So this is R minus 6. Now, since we have a right triangle again, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. And for this one, we have AO squared is equal to AE squared plus OE squared. Let's substitute. OA is R, or AO is R. That's R squared. AE is 12. And OE is R minus 6. Let's simplify. We have R squared equals 144 plus R minus 6 squared. That's R squared minus 12R plus 36. Sana nakuha niyo, no? Ano na to? Expand lang. So, equal yan sa R minus 6 times R minus 6. So, ito yung kinalabasan. Now, kung mapansin nyo, parehas may R squared. So, cancel na natin yun. Tapos, ilipat natin itong 12R dito sa, sa left side. So, we have 12R is equal to 144 plus 36. That is 180. And we divide everything by 12. Therefore, R is equal to 15. So the radius is 15, therefore the diameter is 30. So for number 7, the radius is 15, but we're looking for the diameter. Let's use D for diameter, that is 30 units. Let's have the other one. For this one, we will be applying pretty much the same thing. So nahati ulit yung chord, pares 2. Ibig sabihin, this line over here should pass through the center of the circle. So let's say this is the center of the circle. Let's use O for the center and let's draw OB. That's your radius. And this segment over here, let me connect that one. This red segment over here, the whole thing from C to O. C, O is R units. Pero mi one done. So therefore, this is R minus 1. Again, this is a right triangle. So we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. We have OB squared. It's equivalent to, what's that? It's a DB. Yeah, it's DB. DB squared plus... O D squared. O B squared, that's R. R squared equals D B. D B is two plus O D. O D is R minus one. R minus one squared. So this is R squared equals two squared is four. Plus let's expand this. Katulad ng ginawa natin dito. So kabilang part na to. We have R squared minus two R plus one. Pares na side mi R squared. So we can cancel those things. And then ay di pala sala. <laughs> Iba na cancel. So this one. So let's transpose 2R to the other side. We have positive 2R equals 4 plus 1. That's 5. Therefore, R is equal to 5 over 2. And But since we're looking for the radius, uh, for the diameter, the diameter is twice of this. The diameter is actually equal to 5 units.